Hello, this is Nathan Morley with another video on the LEGO salvage truck. Well, the first test drive took place and it didn't go well. Um, I hook up the batteries, start up the machine, get it going, and there is an immediate and nasty grinding of gears. So, eventually figured out what the problem was. Um, I've actually rebuilt the transmission. Um, if you look closely, you'll see that the um, whole gear system is now in line is now on the center line of the machine before it was offset by about two lego squares and then down in there was a gear connection that um, kind of joggled this shaft over to be in line with the input of the transmission um turns out that was one of the big sources of my problem um the little gear joint wasn't properly supported in one of the shafts was bending sideways and allowing the two gears to skip and then the shaft was wearing itself against the bearing and it, it was very nasty. So the other problem I found out is there was too much slop in one of these little shifters. So I've actually rebuilt all of the motor actuators. So if you look down here is one switch and then under this switch is actually the motor that operates this transmission here. Similarly, um, under this switch is the motor that operates this transmission and then that switch. Um, similar story on the bottom except with only the one transmission. Now one problem that I had that I didn't really, well, I sort of expected it, is there's a fair, the machine is slowed down quite a bit by the fact that it has the two rear axles, especially when turning. So. The machine wants to try to pivot um, on a line that runs almost right between the two axles. So if it turns this way, uh, this tire gets pushed in, this tire gets pulled out, um, and creates a very large amount of stress on the whole mechanism and slows the machine down quite a bit. So once I get it working, um, I'm going to take it for another test drive and see if that is a significant enough problem to warrant a modification. And if so, I'm going to probably make the third axle here steerable. Um, I have an extra little Lego servo motor that I'll just tie into the um, existing steering system so the two motors will work together. So hopefully all these modifications will make the machine work. I know I've been having a lot of really niggly setbacks, so hopefully now I know what's going on, so see you guys later.